because he's so good with the rest normally. He's one of the best, actually. Well, he's hit a, the wrong red. He's hit the wrong ball again there. The only one we saw that. He missed the red and he clipped the blue on the way through. It was extraordinary. But there he hit a red on the way through to the one he meant to hit. Yeah, he's rocking a bit, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. I know Sullivan will certainly pick up on that as well. Well, it was a great shot. Of course, he could have got unlucky, I suppose, and the red could have what? covered him for the black, but it didn't. I don't think a player ever deserves to get snookered on a colour like that, but it happens. And that's also particularly well played. All of a sudden, this match is changing. Yeah, he controlled that so well. He had the angle to get them all open. So they're all there for him now. What a chance for 5-4. Yes, and if he was to take it here, there'd be something very significant, I think, about you know, the way that the match is being played. Nine. Kyron Wilson is having chances, but he's not able to chalk up enough points, basically. That's as simple as that. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-nine. Yeah, one thing with O'Sullivan, he does make the game look very easy when he's in. More so than Kyron Wilson or just about anyone else, actually. And he did get the bills open very quickly. There was a big pack of reds there, but they were soon dispersed all around the table. 38. Well, Wilson did have a chance. He missed that black using the rest, unusually for him. And then, of course, caught the wrong red. So not good signs for Wilson. First time he's done it, like I say, he'd made that mistake earlier, hitting the ball on the way through to a pot earlier, which went badly wrong and probably dented his confidence a little bit that he had such a misjudgment. And like I said earlier, the problem with playing O'Sullivan apart from his obvious brilliance is that frames can be lost very quickly. And this is the case here. This frame is just about lost now. It's not taken O'Sullivan long to get into this position. It's only one snooker. 
But he's on the red to the yellow pocket. And if it goes in, it's another frame gone. Well, I said earlier that his average shot time, 28 and a half seconds, would come down if he started to make breaks. It's now 19 seconds. The minute he potted that black at the start of the frame, got into the cluster, everything potted then. Five. Everything was on. And it looks like he's going to pot everything. 76. And there'll be just one frame in it. If you've got someone like Ronnie O'Sullivan on the ropes, you've got to keep punching. You've got to put him down. Because the danger is he'll come back stronger. Four. Yeah, I guess the problem is he's been on the receiving end of some defeats by the hands of O'Sullivan. So, you know, when you get the chance to win, you almost can't really turn it down. If he was to lose this match, and he's still in front, Karen Wilson would be very disappointed. Yeah, because O'Sullivan was struggling, but he's not struggling now. He's a yellow and green for a century. 99. Yeah, things have turned round in a big way here. One hundred and six. It's his second century of the match, fourth of the tournament. If Wilson was under pressure before, he's banged under it now. Earlier on, it looked like O'Sullivan was there for the taking at 5-1. But he's cleared up with 124, and he trails now only by one frame. Karen Wilson leading only 5-4.